Sheriff Truert. <laughs> Pox upon Truert and all his thugs. Yeah, this sheriff is a bad guy. Like, this guy is saying he misses when crime was rampant on the streets. He misses that over this new sheriff that's putting him away. Because he's putting, like, everybody away. You'll, you'll, we'll learn more about that later. It's some cool foreshadowing. Yeah, Truer is a bad man. Um, <laughs> yeah. Whew. Anyway, moving on from that. Here is, I think this is Genevieve's room. Well, that's her door. Oh, yep. I guess Basso can open it. He's not much of a sneak, but he can sure handle a lock. I have to say, these textures look so good, it almost looks 3D. Like, I was trying to see if these bumps actually came out. It looks like they do, but they don't. They definitely don't. It's flat. It's cool. Nothing in this room. Yep, so oh, cool. Improved water as well, by the way. Just saying. Just saying. Um, oh, it's so dark. Yeah, I'll have... I'm Just FYI, I'm going to be um, turning up the brightness when I edit the video to put it on YouTube. So don't think that it's bright. It's super dark. In fact, I'm just right now, I'm going to show you how dark it is. I'm going to take the brightness settings off now. <laughs> All right, they're back. <laughs> so there you go. That's that's how I'm playing it. But if you can't see at home, it's kind of kind of dumb. I'm not gonna turn up too bright, but like I, I literally can't see. Oh, in fact, I thought that was closed. Yeah, actually, you know, I'm gonna turn the gamma up just a, just a smidge. Um, oops. There we go. Okay. So this is the last thing on this floor. Boom. That's it. 675 on the first floor. For those counting along. Okay, so now we're going upstairs. This is the best place to go upstairs because it's so dark right here. And there's two guards that you see. Oh, here's one. What's up? Yeah, if you try to tango with this guy on the other side of this hallway, it's like super lit up. Um, nothing in this bathroom area. There's a pool. Yeah, I'll just... Just so you can see the pool. Here you go. There's the pool. Or like a bath. It's a bath. Not, not a pool. It's like a... Looks like a hot tub. <laughs> Definitely not a hot tub. Little music room. Coins. Oh, Garrett, you're just a virtuoso. <laughs> Dude, Garrett can play the harp like a boss. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why I did those two rooms first. Usually I'm, I go up here first. Oops. Oh. Beware of this guard as well. I wait. Don't you worry. Okay. Grab his key. Hit him in the head. That's how we do. Um, two bedrooms, nothing on either of these. Um, so... I'm kind of wondering. So there's... Okay, how do I explain this? So... You can play these games in a way oops, um, that makes it more challenging. Uh, it's called um, playing it ghost, ghost mode or whatever. And you basically, oh, here's the third secret, by the way. It's this right here. Um, and basically, you can't be seen or heard. You got to like close doors behind you. Um, you can't knock anybody, anybody out. Um, Stuff like that. You can't set off alarms. You can't do anything. Um, and I don't... How, how would you do that here? I guess you'd have to do those eight blackjacks. Like, eight knockouts. So there's no real way to do it perfect. Uh, okay, wait. I did these three. Okay. So here's the, here's the stairs um, that go down to the kitchen. 
another thing in Thief 2, different from the first one, is a new... So there's secrets, but there's also bonus objectives. So if you look in the objectives, um, here's what I've got. One, two, three, four, there's five things. Now you get new ones. I grabbed those, like, two rings. Check it out. What would a wedding be without rings? <laughs> bonus objective in all capital letters. Yeah, so cool. And it's it's loot for the mission too, so I guess you need it for that, but still just little things like that make it more interesting. Oh by the way, look how good that fire looks. Crazy. Okay, but so this is the courtyard I was talking about. That's the hardest part of the mission. <laughs> Especially if you were doing a ghost, oh my god, I wouldn't even want to try. Uh, there's the dining room. We've already gotten the stuff that's in there. You can't actually get in there without getting, um, like, having to fight that guard. <laughs> He'll see you every time. Alright, there's two more guards here. There's one. Some he just goes back and forth right here. Let me just throw him in this little storage room. Kind of cool. And then... One more guy right here. Oop, hello? I can't get over how good these textures look, honestly. I mean, they're not nostalgic like the the original ones are, but man, it's just like eye candy. <coughs> You're done. In fact, I'm gonna leave them right there. Perfect. Nobody else is coming anyway, so whatever. Okay, each bedroom has a little vase, goblet thing. Closing the doors just because just that's how I play. So, if you look carefully in that shadow, you'll see this. If you turn off the lights, it's easier to see. The contrast kind of makes it hard. It's cool. Another little trick that you don't see in the first game using like the lighting just a little bit more or a little more creatively anyway I'm, they use lighting a little bit in the first one too don't get me wrong I'm not trying to say the first one's bad because I like the first one a lot first one's really good first one's my favorite this one's good too Thief 2 is like the gameplay is better the story is good not as good as the first one and the ending kind of sucks. I, I kind of hate the ending of this game. It's so anticlimactic. Like, the last mission is so cool. It is so good. Like, the last mission is way better than the last mission in Thief 1. Way, 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 way better. Um, maybe not as, like, crazy looking, but definitely crazy. It's cool. It's... Like, the Thief 1 had its own version of a boss fight. And then this one has its own version. And it's cool. It's it's good stuff. But yeah, the ending. The, the ending cutscene sucks. <laughs> okay. Wow, look how good this is. This looks like a different game, almost. Okay, so there's two guards on either side of these doors. <clears throat> and there's that guard you see out there patrolling. Yeah, so this is this part's this can be dicey. So I'm gonna do my best. Basically I wait till this guard has his back to me and then I go nice and slow and I just hug this door like like a panda bear hugs a friggin' tree. Or whatever they hug. What's Get over there? Okay, get his key. Knock him out. Okay, now I'm gonna come What's over that? here. Come out now, whoever you are. Okay, got him. Oh, I thought he was gonna start. Okay, okay, good. Oh, get him, get him, get him. I think we have plenty of time, but I just feel <laughs> heart racing. Okay. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I'm gonna throw him to the side. <laughs> no. You two, stay off of each other now. You're on you're on duty, you can't be fooling around like that.
Okay, so this guy... I think what I'm gonna try to do is avoid fighting him entirely. Just because I've been here only I do want to pick his pocket, but I'm I'm not sure I can. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll try. Okay, basically, I'm just gonna go for the. I can't really. Oh, can I go for the loot? Oh, we gotta be. You gotta be careful with this. Okay, I'm gonna try for it. I even ate the cheese. No, the problem is, look, these shadows look so good. I mean, they look like you'd be invisible out here, but you are completely bright. I don't know. It's like a programming error or something out here. And I can't believe they didn't fix it with this fan patch that I have. You know what? I'm totally going to avoid him. I'm not even going to worry about it. I don't care about his pocket and picking it or anything. <laughs> okay, uh, key. Yep, just going out here. And this is perfect. Because, let's see, how much loot do I have? <laughs> Pretty sure I didn't miss anything. 1285. Now, if you have the patch, the most recent official patch and not the fan-made one, you're going to see 1265 is all the loot because of that one thing. But then when you see the stat screen, you're going to be missing 20. It's going to frustrate you, and I'm sorry. Yeah, so here's Basso. We gotta use. We can't just be like, hey, hey, hello, like waving at him. Hello, you see me? <laughs> I wonder if you can shoot at him. You know what? I'm gonna save real quick. I'll, I'm gonna. This is. I shouldn't do this. Wait, I don't have broadhead arrows. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot a water arrow. At him. <laughs> hey, Bass. Basso. Hey dude, we're ready. I'm ready for you. <laughs> Anytime. All right, all right, seriously. <laughs> and he's just like, oh right, I'm on it. <laughs> oh my God. So look how he runs, first of all. And then know that he runs the whole way. <laughs> Even Genevieve when she's when she starts going with him too. They both just run. I mean, he says he's a bad sneak, but he could at least try. Or he tries here. Because these two guards you don't get rid of. So he's, you know, keeping the noise down. But then as soon as he gets like, just out of earshot, watch this. Like, run Skippy. Taking a breather? Did you? Are you floating? What happened? That was weird. I can't remember if he does that or not in the just regular version. I'm sure he does. Yeah, so we just kind of. It's nice that he runs actually, as much as funny as it was. Kind of weird that he walks here, but there is that guard station. He's stopping again? Look how pointy his feet are. Oh, they're just underground. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, cool, fine. Here we go. He's running again. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna study his lock picking skills. Let's see. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, hand through the door. Okay. Basso! Oh. Shh. Oh, come with me. So, wait, check this out. So if you if you open the door before she is able to close it, you can actually get in here. So look at this. This key? All right. So if the door closes, you're locked. It's locked. So wait a minute. Oh my god. She had a key the whole time. She could have gotten out at any point. <laughs> yeah, I got to catch back up. Which I'm sure won't be difficult. They leave all these doors open. They're no sneaks, not at all. I'm just gonna run past these guys, because why not? Oh, they did close that door. Now I'm the one leaving things open. Shh, come with me. Uh. <laughs> Why'd he say shh, come with me? 
I thought he said that at the beginning before they ran out. <laughs> anyway, yeah, cool. All the objectives. Yeah, see, okay, it says I found all three secrets, but it doesn't, like, show up. I wonder why. I'm going to make sure that I fix that before the next episode, or next mission. This is episode two, because I didn't stop in the middle, so now it's a whole two episodes. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, and I found all the loot. I can't tell you how satisfying it is to see I found 1285 out of 1285. Usually when I play this game, it sells 1265, and it's so upsetting. So I missed two um, pickpockets. That one guard outside, and then I knocked one out before I grabbed his loot. Is that right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, cool. That's, I mean, that's pretty good. So, all right. Let's save this. Boom, our first one. 21 minutes. That's pretty good. All right. Cool. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Oh, it feels good to do this again. I hope you're excited. I'm really excited. Thief 2 is a really, really good game. It's going to get super hard, and I'm sort of nervous. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, thanks for being here. I'll see you guys later. Keep it classic.